It's not the things inside my head that keep me going Don't need someone to throw me money, they should show it Keep chasing shadows, they're always haunting me But I believe in something bigger So today, Sunday, and it is the ICN Bodybuilding Show in Canberra. So the team and I have been working really hard over the last couple of months to organize this day so that we could have our very own ABW pop-up store at the ICN Bodybuilding Show. Now, I've been dieting for like the last month. You probably would have seen it in the last couple of videos that I was getting my body into shape just so that I could do this guest posing on stage today. Anyway, I've had my first layer of tan done last night. Had a shower this morning, rinsed most of it off, but I'm gonna be getting another tan this morning. I'm gonna give you guys a quick update on my physique and do a, a, just a, a few flexes. I've basically dropped out water for the last 24 hours. I did a mini peak week strategy just so that I could look good on the day. And just because I like doing it really, like bodybuilding is my passion, it's my sport. So doing one week of peak week, it wasn't really all that hard for me. Like obviously the food is completely bland, there's no salt. Um, no water for the last 24 hours, but this morning I woke up, I had a small scotch fillet steak, about 150 grams, and then I had two fried eggs, just to add that little bit of sodium, and then that will hold on to a little bit of the water that was in within that meal. After that, my next meal is just going to be a little bit of salt and vinegar chips, and then just the usual lollies and, you know, a few snacks before I go on with the pump formula, like a pre-workout or something, but anyway, I'm going to give you guys an update on how I'm looking. I feel like I've dried out a fair bit overnight, so... So that's pretty much first thing in the morning, no pump, no water. Um, obviously I've still got at least three or four hours to the show, so there's a few things that you can do to tighten up that condition just a little bit more. Um, whew, a little bit puffed out from that. Anyway, it feels good to be back doing bodybuilding. Like I haven't done this in three years. The last time I competed was 2015. Um, but you know, I've really enjoyed this last month just doing the peak week and, and the dieting, sorry, and the peak week strategies. So. I've got all my things ready to go. I've got my meal bag. I've been eating these meals that I bought from Melbourne for the last day. Meanwhile, all my friends and my family that have come up here with me have been going out and eating and I've just been in the room doing my thing. And you know, it feels good to just be able to sacrifice that one day while they want to socialize and do things, which is totally fine, you know. Um, but now I'm just kind of getting ready and seeing my body change over literally a 24 hour period. So yesterday I did a huge, oh, the last two days I've been doing a big carb up. I've had carbs with every meal and then woke up today and feeling full. My body's looking tighter and yeah, getting everything ready for the show. Like I've got my posing trunks, I've got the resistance bands, I've got the towel, pre-workout, just got that ready to go. These are the ICN t-shirts that I made up for the show. So because we're sponsoring the event, Every single competitor got one of these t-shirts and they're made of this beautifully soft fabric that we're actually using in one of our upcoming t-shirts. So, pretty excited about that. 
four hours before I go on stage, I'll be having these salt and vinegar chips because I have no sodium for the last week. So it's ideal to be adding in a little bit of sodium again. It's not, I'm not drinking any water, but there is water in the food and that will make me maintain a pump a little bit better. In terms of like on the day food, what you want to snack on, rice cakes are really good. You don't want to be eating large amounts of carbs like rice and sweet potato. Like if you're going to eat that kind of stuff, make sure it's at least six hours before so it's got time to digest. Otherwise, right, rice. So we're just booking our Ubers, six minutes from the hotel. That's not too bad. Confirm pick up. Four minutes away. Perfect. Did you book one? All right, so they're rolling in the E-Class. Their Uber's just gone next level. But don't worry, mate, we got the Hyundai. Let's go with Kumar. <laughs> I guess these are our tables. That's pretty good. So we've got the team here, about to set up the store. We're gonna bring about 40, no, not 40, like 20 boxes up here from downstairs. So we better get to work. All right, so after about an hour of setting up, we've got the whole store ready to go. We've got hats, shakers, shorts, got all our stock on hangers. All right, so. Everything is ready to go. Display models. We've got all our stock here. We've got pretty much every size and color. It was a mission getting all these boxes up here, but don't worry, we came prepared. And it's time for some salt and vinegar chips. All right, so everything's set up for the store, which means now it's time to go backstage and get a second coat of tan. Let's go. What does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing? Bug after this. Yeah, ready to go. Yeah. Back on the stage again soon. Oh, I am perfect. 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 I am
expectations, they keep weighing me down My heart is begging me to get the hell out Because um, to see a complete 
physique with great structure developed in all areas is so rare. And that's obviously why you're a champion bodybuilder. The mindset, tell me a little bit more about the mindset because I, I find it fascinating. You're a champion bodybuilder. I'm not surprised your businesses are taking off and going well because I'm sure you have a very a similar mindset yep. as with both. But tell me the secret, what, what's the secret or what's your approach to becoming a champion bodybuilder? What, what, what dedication, what mindset do we employ on a daily basis to bodybuilding? And have you transferred that to your business? Do you put that much energy in, into your business as well? Yeah, 100%. So when I was growing up, I was basically focusing on winning as many competitions as I could. That was my main priority. I was still PTing at the time, but I didn't have the clothing store. After I did all my competitions and I went to the Olympia, I thought, all right, now it's time to really start focusing on my businesses. I'd saved up a lot of money, and then I thought, all right, now I need to apply that same dedication, that same mindset that I did to my competitions, apply that to my businesses, and I spend 12 hours a day minimum working on either the personal training, the gym, the clothing, talking to my suppliers, um, designing the clothes. I, I do pretty much everything from A to Z. You design the clothes yeah, yourself? I design the clothes, and you know, we're just about to release our women's range as well, so I've had to do a lot of market research in terms of that because creating men's clothes is pretty easy for me because I know what I like to wear, but then having to research and find out what the women like to wear, what materials to use, that kind of stuff, it takes a lot of work. And you know, coming up in the fitness industry, there is a lot of competition. You know, so it's it's imperative that you are on top of your game and you know exactly what you're dealing with and what the market wants. So. You know, that, that applies to the same thing with bodybuilding too. I did the same thing. I researched my competitors. I saw what they were doing. I saw what, you know, competitors, what their strong points were, what their weak points were. And I do the same thing with my businesses. So I analyze and I just assess what I need to do for myself and how to create my own image. So it's mission time at the ICN. We're selling a lot of clothes at the store. I've got my mum here. Just finished up doing my posing routine on stage. I felt like I did it pretty good. I did wing a little bit at the end because I wanted to go for that little bit longer than what I'd initially planned, but you know, it all went to plan. I feel good. But now, time to go get some food. Yeah. What are you thinking? Burgers? Pizza? Or maybe Italian? Pasta, gnocchi, schnitzel. Guys, I'm back at home in the thick of winter. Melbourne weather straight away put the Ugg boots on we ended up uh, having to pack up the store within like 15 minutes flat because as soon as the show finished We had to run to the airport in order to get our flight So we pretty much flew in there slept one night did the show flew back to Melbourne and then we got to go to work tomorrow So it was a little bit of a fast trip, but I really enjoyed the time that we had there ACT really brought the goods the shows are running smoothly on time loved every minute of it Wow I didn't even film what we had after. Where's my phone? This is us walking through the airport, ready to go and get a feed. We didn't have time to eat, obviously. We just had to jump on the plane. And then, bang, we just discovered a new restaurant. It's opposite 400 Grady on Ligon Street, if you live in Melbourne. It's called Da Pepe, and they have the best homemade pasta I've ever had. Like, without the five-star restaurant price tag. So that was my fettuccine bolognese. Anyway, dragging this on too long. Here's what the physique looks like. Post half an hour scrub. Got the fake tan off. Still feel pretty good, actually. It wasn't like when I usually compete. It's like, go nuts, you know. Have all the ice cream, all the pizza, all the pasta. It was just one nice, clean meal. Feel good. It'll digest. Reset tomorrow. Hit the weights hard. Try and make use of it. And... Pretty much going to maintain this conditioning for as long as I can, really. But anyway, guys, without dragging this on too long, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Make sure you subscribe to the Active Fam and hit that bell so you get the notifications. Peace out. Good night.